time for chapter 17. So now he's challenged Serac, and now Serac is ready to, uh, to show down and throw some hands. So they fight, but and uh, Bane wins. But the reason why Bane won is because he realizes that he wears out Serac over time and real realizes that he has no experience in long drawn out battles because no one has ever been able to fight him that long. So he wins, Bane wins and Kasim congratulates and praises Bane. And when Bane leaves after the fight, he runs into Githany who gets mad because Sirak wasn't killed. But he Bane justifies it saying it's vengeance because they both send each other to the back the to the back the pit. But, and Githany is mad because he, he, Bane was going to kill Serac, but he didn't. She believes that he's being held back. Githany, Githany is mad because he pulls back from the dark side. Bane just gets even more mad. <laughs> they just keep beefing. And Bane just shoves her and, and walks away, walks away. And then Bane is in bed, and he's like, bro, what did I do? What can I do? And he's, like, wondering if they both feel things for each other. But he gets a knock at his door after curfew, and the Blade Master is there. He gives him a lightsaber, that which was the weapon of the Blade Master's master. And Bane asks him about his parents, and, reveal, and it reveals that Kasim was taken away at a young age. Because he had the powers of the Force, even though his parents were probably put away into slavery. And Kasim explains that his master was a great Sith Lord, and he gave the blade to uh, to Bane without telling anyone. Cordis does not. Cordis probably doesn't approve, and the decision is his alone, not not Cordis. And. And Kasim casually reveals that he took the lightsaber after he killed him. And it was a test to see if he was as strong as he believed. And Kasim was like, bro, you if you were to fight me, that wouldn't happen. But in the morning, Cordis wants to see him before the morning drills. So Bane has to meet him again. Like the one when he when he killed Fulog in the beginning. Cordis notices the lightsaber on his belt. But he looks a bit mad, but he just keeps going with it. Also, this is where uh, Bane gets exposed. He Cordis basically says he knew that he was training with Githany, but and it must end because he doesn't want anyone else to be going down the path of trying to do that. But now they cannot be each in each other in private, but they can only be in group lessons together. Bane is kind of mad because he thinks he went too far, and now he believes that Lord Cordis is just trying to establish control. And B he also tells Bane that he cannot study the archives anymore because they're of the past and they must move on to the future. But Bane's like, nah, bro, we need to stay in the past. The past is important. And he asks him about a lot of places like the Valley of the Dark Lords and, and the secrets of the tombs of the Dark Masters Baron Korriban. Cordis is like, nah, there ain't anything there. The Jedi took everything. And then Bane is like, bro, I want to go look. And Bane is like, Bane believes that the ghosts in the Valley of the Dark Lords are can teach him more than the living master of the academy. This makes Cordis mad, so he slaps him and draws blood from Bane. And the master just yells at him and then, and tells him to get out. And says, you can go try, but you won't find anything. Bane's like, it's a test. But, but he knows that he is wrong. So he decides to march from the room without a word. He's going to find proof now. Next is chapter 18. Time for chapter 18. So Bane is not at the morning practice session, and then Kasim realized that Lord Cordis is responsible. Kasim is like, bro, what did you do? And then he said, Cordis is like, nothing. He just tried to reason with him, and Kasim believes that Cordis manipulated Bane because he does not care for him. And he realized he should have warned Bane to be on his guard. And then he referenced the Path of Ruin, but then I looked at the book and it says Path of Destruction, so I feel like they should have changed that, but whatever. And then Cordis is like mad and pushes away Kasim and says he has brought this on himself and he is crazy. Kasim is like Kasim realizes that Cordis may have not actually have done done it right and failed. Cordis reveals that he's heading for the Valley of Dark Lords and that he's obsessed with the past and that Cordis did not warn him about anything. 
Kasim believes him, but it doesn't know if if Corus is completely correct. Corus is like, if they if he survives, he will learn the truth and will have to join the Brotherhood of Darkness. And the conversation is all over, and Kasim ha- leaves. He f- there's a problem. Kasim feels that Corus is rationalizing events after the fact, but he because Corus is very power hungry and wishes to be in control. But it brings a smile to. It brings a smile to Kasim because he has confidence Bane will survive and he wants to see what happens when he returns. Now we cut to Sirak who's who's out of the back to tent because he's t- spent 36 hours in it. And he is ready to go. But when he's about to go, he finds Githany. Githany w- wants to work with him now be- because and reveals that Bane beat him because of her. But now, but now she reveals she was wrong about Bane and realizes he is still a, a failure in a, in a way. He is very weak and not willing to turn to the dark side. And Sirak says that Sirak decides to um, work with her, but calls her out saying that she changes to allegiances too quickly for a Sith. She says that Bane ended the alliance, even though we all know she still loves him. And, and how he left the academy and never said goodbye or explained himself. And then Sirak understands that P- Githany is used to being control. So like the theme of this book seems to be P- power hungry people who want control. And then and then they are going to plan to beat him. Now it cuts to Bane in the in Korriban's wasteland, walking for hours from the s- s- small city of Dresde. He's been walking and and he, he is kind of scared because he doesn't really sense a difference in the force. But, because he thought he would actually feel something. But he keeps walking. He keeps walking and goes to a near temple. He can see that there are designs in the, in the way. And he doesn't change it. He still has his sense and he changes. And he finds some Pirko bugs. But he doesn't really care because they can sense the force. But he's now dis- concerned with dangers that could have been left behind, like traps. So he keeps wa- walking, and then he uses the force to scan for traps. And when he keeps walking, he tries to find things, but he finds out everything's been robbed and defied. He realized the filed. The ancient manuscripts had failed him. He had basically lost on the gamble, and now he had. And now he basically has to head back. Then it cuts to Kofix on the ground as he surveys the camp. He has to talk to um, Lord Khan and reveal that they have a poor army and they need reinforcements Th- and they believe they might be heading to destruction and now they want more recruits to join the Dark Lords so they wish to get the master from the academy and they are very strong but yeah they have to like recruit them as a last result- resort so next is chapter 19 these two chapters are pretty long everything's pretty long from here